Get your hands in order. Oh, do it today. Get your hands in order. Oh, do it right away. For Jesus is coming. No man knows where or when. Get your house in order. Oh, do it. He's coming back again. Oh, do it right away. <laughs> what up, y'all? It's your girl KD, aka Mommy Watson, the mystical musical messenger over here at the Lighthouse Astro Zero. And today I just wanted to do a real Real, real quick message, just to let you guys know, any which way that you are feeling energetically pulled to prepare yourself for the very near future, do that. I don't care if it ain't nothing but stocking up on water, if it's like making sure your life is more organized right now, I strongly suggest that you do that because we are, you know... It is a misconception. Now, you know, we hear a lot of stuff coming across the media about how, you know, things are shifting, things are changing, which is true. But we take these things a little bit more literally. Like, you know, we see the chaos that's going on around us. You know, there's shootings happening every five damn minutes. Um, we have all these um, massacres occurring in different cities and states and things of that nature. And I have gotten quite a few downloads in regards to, you know, things to, as far as, you know, um, you know, planetary disruptions. So I just want to say this. We know hurricane season is right around the corner. And let's see, back in 2015, we had um, Katrina come through. And one of the things that astrology teaches you and reveals to you that during the cycles of time, within these cycles of time, that there are significant changes. And, you know, some of these things that we can't actually predict. Now, I don't know per se what exactly is going to happen, but given if you were around for Katrina, you know how rough that was, right? And you know what happened to that landmass around there. I have been receiving a lot of information in regards to, you know, preparing for another instance like this. So, you know, just share this message, you know, stock up on water, stock up on, you know, unperishable foods. And like I said, get your life organized. If you ain't got your ID, go ahead and get your ID. If you don't have birth certificates and things like that, go ahead and get your birth certificates and stuff like that in order. Because we don't know what's around the corner that is approaching us that is going to require us to have this information at hand. Um, you know, we might have to pick up and move around in an instance, you know, we might have to shift our locations, even if it's just temporarily. So preparation is key, you know, uh, make those connections with people that you need to make connections with. If you have people who are, um, like, you know, elderly in your family, you know, make sure they good make sure they straight, make sure you do things like get your children, you know, even if your children weren't born or aware of what happened during, you know, those chaotic times, like we had what, uh, what was it, Hurricane Camille, was it a hurricane or something other, like, something other like that, yeah, Hurricane Camille, um, Hurricane Katrina, things like that, those are very disruptive times for us, and, you know, the more that you get yourself ready now, the less you'll have to do later and it won't be uh, so difficult for you. Now, as far as, you know, just us energetically beyond, you know, the physical uh, disruptions that could be taking place over the next couple of months. Um, you know, there is something in the overall atmosphere. Us as just a society, we are beginning to realize a lot of um, truth behind the lies that have been told to us. Um, and there are a lot of energetic portals opening up. Now, some people don't really like to lay a lot of um, weight to things like this, but I always say it, and if you've ever listened to me before, you've probably heard me mention Shekinah Glory. We are living in a time where uh, your spiritual manifests into the physical. And I'm going to say it and say it and say it until I get sick of saying it, until I don't got to say it no more. Your thoughts, 
your thoughts and the emotions that you put behind those thoughts are going to manifest a whole lot more quickly than what they did in the past because God is here on earth. He is here with us. He is letting his presence be known. And with that being said, you know, be mindful of the intentions that you put out towards other people and be very, very sure about what you are trying to manifest into your own life. Because it's like this now, you take one step, God going to take 20. I also want to lay this out here too, you feel me? I had made a video here a while back about the solar flares. Now, in relation, in connection to that message, now a lot of people think that it, the solar flare message was just about things heating up. No, this is about planetary disruptions all together because what a solar flare does, a solar flare changes uh, the, the atmosphere here on Earth. Things get hotter, but at the same time, it affects things in regards to, you know, like the lunar cycles. Our lunar, lunar cycles, which is our moon cycles, has everything to do with uh, the way the waves of the ocean move. So, you know, don't be surprised if you hear some things, maybe like tsunamis coming up in other areas. Hell, we live, the where we living in now, even here in the U.S., these things are very possible given the type of disruptions that take place. And, you know, that has a lot to do with the DNA activations and things of that nature. So, anything that you feel in your heart that you need to do to get prepared go ahead and do that i don't care how outlandish it feels or how out how outlandish some of the messages that you may hear from me or anyone else who is putting this information out may sound you know it may not be um exactly those things but it is getting you prepared it is help trying to get you to get prepared for some type of disruption that is to come um and i know i've had a lot of people who are who have hit me up who are curious about the dna activations what they actually are what does that include and how do you know that your physical body has been prepared or is in preparation for these things i'm gonna tell you one of these so the reasons why we are being impacted with these solar flares is because the way that uh the times and the way the world and the energy down here is shifting um the low vibrational stuff that we was into before it ain't gonna work i ain't talking about you know just drinking and smoking i'm talking about anything that is very toxic to your body you know uh this is like you know your heavier range of drugs you feel me like if you have been pushed to step away from those things do your best you know i encourage anybody you feel me if you're going through that that is a cycle even if you know that drinking is too much for you that is something that is going to require time persistence all that good stuff to get rid of but the way the reason why it is so hot is to purge your body and get your body prepared for those things and i plan on making a video here shortly i might go ahead and make it tonight as to actually what dna activations are and what they are actually doing to your body because what it is doing you know uh for the longest time our the human dna we know less about the human genetic makeup than what we do about the animals that walk the planet so the less you know about the genetic makeup, they have labeled it as being junk DNA. This is not junk DNA. It's just something that they haven't labeled as to what it actually does um, whenever it comes to your cellular makeup. So for as far as your cellular makeup goes, you getting out into the sun and getting as much um, sun rays as you can possibly get and getting as much fresh air as you can possibly get is going to only benefit you in the future. So I think just to break down what DNA activations are and how they affect you and the changes that you are going to notice with these, I'll be putting out a video about that here in a minute because me, myself, I, I know some of it, but I don't know all of it. So the more educated that I can get on these things and pass that information along, I will be sure to do that. So if you're interested be on the lookout for that video and that will be up next until i see you next time Bye bye.